Welcome along guys, well, we're back in the garage temporarily. We will be going on site in a minute. <laughs> on site. Get the camera crew, we're going on site. We're gonna build a supermoto from start to finish in this video. If you're planning on building your own supermoto, this is a must watch. We're starting with a 300 TPI, six days enduro, KTM of course. Uh, we've got wheels, I was going to say wheels for Motomaster, we have brakes for Motomaster, wheels from SM Pro. Let's get to it. This is not my bike, I hasten to add. This is my mate Greg's machine. Oh, he's a lucky devil. So there she is, there's the bike. 2020, 300 TPI, six days. You started with the best, mate. <laughs> Absolute beauty, full FMF on it as well. Just been fitted. It's, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a bit special, this. Unfortunately, it's not mine. <laughs> I wouldn't mind a bit of this, but there it is. Before we start, before we start bolting on all the bits and bobs, this is the bits. This is the bits. Chain of sprockets. You got some bling as well? You got some little bling bits? Yeah, I've already put a little bit on. Oh, I? have you? Yeah. Motor Master front caliper. Sorry, Master cylinder. That's the caliper, isn't it? Caliper kit. Correct. Front and rear discs. So that rear disc is a special uh, one for wheelies, basically, isn't it? So it doesn't overheat the rear disc. I think that's the kit there. Oh, it's too hot just before you loop it, apparently. That's it. <laughs> It doesn't overheat and cause you to loop it. That's it, that's some of the kit. And then of course the wheels. Oh, we've got a day cut out for us, mate, here, haven't we? We've got Santa's little helper as well. Hi, Benny. We've got about eight hours to do this, so it really is a one day transformation, isn't it? Including new brake setups, cutting links out of chains, the full works. How's that? Yeah, she's going up, mate. That's secure. Going a bit more, get it? Uh, the front is still touching down. I think I think it's on there well enough, isn't it? Which wheel first? I think front, John. <laughs> Start with the front, then do all the brakes. I think so, because I think that's the bit that's going to take the longest. Yeah. <laughs> and then if the weather breaks, we can turn it around and can do the rear in here. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Cool. Do what we did with mine. I took the whole front brake line off it intact, so you yeah. don't have to break it, and then it, you can just put the whole lot back on again if you do want to do any enduro. So these, these two basically. I've just moved the uh, the throttle grip round so we can get to the to the bolts. On the uh, the new TPIs, they've got the map position switch, and because I've put the new master cylinder on, I'm not. We're going to need to find out if that will fit onto the motor master securing cap, whatever you want to call it. Hmm. So I think all that lot plugs in, all those connectors are underneath this cow. So you have to take the cow off to be able to unplug them all. Yeah, and we've got to take the cow off to take the front mic off. We do indeed, yeah. It's got to be done. Push your laces on, Dan. Do you want to take any photos? Yeah. It's only good to go in one way, don't they? Come on, you little bastard. There we go. That's the speedo. Yep. No. It, it pulls through the sleeve. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass. You got to just, it just about fits through the, the sleeve hole. Okay. So that end, you, only one end will go, and I think that's the you, end. Do I think you reuse the sleeve with, yes. with the new brake line? You do, yeah. So what we need to do is get it all off the bike first now. I think we'll do that once it's off the bike. Okay. So for reference, we just pulled that speedo cable through the tube, if you plan to do this. It's tight as hell, but it did go. Right, let's just take this whole lot off then and get it off the bike, I reckon. So that's, that's free here. Hang on, there's something. Oh, that's the, uh, that's the, that's the, that's the brake light switch. Oh yeah. That's the brake light switch. Okay. So that plugs in somewhere. We've got to disconnect okay, it. I can see it. Right, do you want to hold that? Yeah, I'll hold that and you do the biz. That's it, she's away. Yeah. I've got me in 70s duvet in the car as well, okay, we can yeah. use. What are we doing here? The old green duvet. We lie down. <laughs> Might need it after this, mate. <laughs> Look at those, the same as the ones I had. Absolutely gorgeous. Orange nipples, orange and black nipples. 
Yeah. Black, orange Black. fade. Orange. Oh, SM Pro. Yeah, With Conti gorgeous. attacks. You've got the Conti attacks Correct. on there as well, haven't you? Conti attacks. Oh, All good to go. Beautiful. Wheel off, disc off, bolts nicked. I suppose you haven't gone titanium on the old bolts, mate. I suppose no. the budget's got to stop somewhere, hasn't it? <laughs> right, let's take the front wheel eight. Okay. Yeah, we'll get the 70s duvet. Can you wake me up when it's done? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ragus. Mm. Yeah, they're very nice wheels, I have to say. They look. They kind of look so good, aren't they? Yeah, they look as good as they could ever look, in my opinion. Yeah, I think could... the fade yeah, finishes it's, it off. It's perfect, isn't it? The full racing setup, I think they call this. They've got a couple of BSB bikes with Motormaster brakes on, you know. Some of the Suzuki's, I think the Hawk Racing Suzuki's have Motormaster discs on them. A bit trivia. That's quite good, isn't a bit it? Bit trivia. So they're not, they don't just do Supermoto stuff. No, no, no. They do oh, sports bike stuff as well, yeah. They've got yeah. Gear on, Anyway, I think we're trying to plug them. So it's that way, isn't it? No. Oh, it's the other way. Well, the, yeah, the, 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 the uh, text outwards. Look at that disc yeah. on those wheels. Beautiful, isn't it? Is that a three, is it a three, what size is it? Is it a three thirty? It's not a three thirty, is it? Or is it a three hundred? Four point five. Three twenty, is it? Is it a three twenty, is it? I think it's, it's lovely, whatever it is. Gorgeous, isn't it? Gorgeous. She looks nice, even with no clothes on. Yeah, it's a good That pipe. Oh, oh, FMF. Gonna have to hear it once we're done. Oh, no, that's <laughs> absolutely fine. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. 25 new metres. Doing it properly, torque wrench and everything. Oh, so that's 10. Let's go for the knuckles already. Now you'll need a new one, don't you? I do, yeah, very I think they're Alan, Alan there. Uh, Alan heads. Okay. Right, you got it? You got enough on there? I know, a bit too, <laughs> a bit too much. That ain't coming undone. I'm a little bit paranoid when it comes to the brake. Yeah, system. no, it's just one thing you want to. Uh, <laughs> Not stay well, secure, it's just it's that and it. Okay, Damn. bingo. Got to look at you, got to look at your nuts now. Oh, yes, you've got the spacers Spaces. and stuff. Get, them, get your nuts out, right? So, we'll, we'll push a load in there first and then we we'll push it into the we've got to fit there. Comes with new dust seals and everything. So, yeah. In here? No, no, just in top of the bear in there. It's all run on top of that. Good bit wadges of in. Loads of loads in there. Actually, nice actually. Sort of pack it, pack it right in, Greg. Literally pack, pack like a load in. I'll go a bit more, mate. It's literally we can want any excess and all be wiped off, but you want to get it in there. And then we need to force it into force it into there as well. Like really pack it in so it's absolutely crammed in. Get get a load and be heavy-handed with it. Again. Push that right down on top of the bearing. That's it, and then flip it over and do the other side. Okay. Ooh, look at that already! I'll take it out again then, so I've got some grease oh, on Oh, okay, yeah. If you don't mind, of course. Grease the shaft. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. How low does that look? <laughs> oh yeah, Ooh. it's just the colour, it just matches the uh, yeah, yeah. the clamps and everything, doesn't it? It's going to be so cool. So brake then, brake time. Brake time. I don't mean a Kit Kat, I mean uh, the front brake. The Motor Master 4 pot. Oh, look at that, beautiful. Beautiful. Same as what I had on mine, and it, the braking power is unbelievable. It's just like one finger. Yeah. It's so nice. You, That's what you want in that. The only you're limited by the fork dive is, is your braking limit really with the standard suspension. I think the way this bike is going to look is I might be limited by the muff dive. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Done. Twenty-two. Do you want to go up a bit? Yeah. Hold the wheel. Yeah. She is looking incredible. I'm in love already. Got the milk, Alex. Does that, does that mean you're putting the kettle on? I'll pull up what you don't need a bit. It's a bit 
Yeah, it was. Then he's come come to watch. So all we've got to do, this is the Motormaster brake light switch. We've cut off the connector off the standard brake light and we've just got to join these wires. And I bought from uh, eBay these fancy little connectors which you push together and then use a flame and it actually melts the solder inside of them. I've seen them advertised on Instagram a few times and I thought I'm going to get some of those. You sorted John for a minute? I'm sorted mate, I'm sorted. Okay, Get the do, do the important stuff, get the tea on. Can't have five minutes without a bit of rain in this country. Bloody ridiculous. So lines are on. Well, not on, but on, but not fixed. Brake light, brake switch. I don't know if you can see it under there, but it's there. It's on. Connected onto the mains harness brake light switch. Cut the connector off. Reused it. So we're just going to put the mud guard on now. And then we'll put the headlight cowl on and then we can get the brake line exactly where we want it the front end is getting there shebang this is what's all about doing jobs in england isn't it a bit of rain mud guard fitted that is the fs450 mud guard or the 701 mud guard it's the same thing all of the bottom yoke is the same fitting so all the same mounting holes just bolts straight on so we're just going to trim the fork guards now. Yeah, so if I go about there, isn't it? Agreed? Yeah, yeah. So trimmed. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's break out the vampire. This makes the job easier. Start to build a bit? Yeah, see what you think. I'm a bit concerned about that shit in there. We can suck that out with the thing. Yeah. Oh, you can feel it towards the end of the lever, yeah. can't you? Might hold it in. Yep. Right, pump again. I can hear the, the caliper gripping. I'll hold it in again. Yep. That's more of a solid stream of fluid yeah. coming out now. Okay. Pump again. Hold it in. Yeah, it's definitely more of a solid yeah. stream. Pump. Pump again. It's getting there. Is it getting better? Yeah, it is getting better. It's just a case of persevering. What about that shite That's in there? Done. Oh yeah, we're gonna suck that out, won't we? A little bit of shite come through. Yeah, let's just suck the shite out. But apart from that, how are you gonna do that? Let's stick a hose bled. In. Obviously, they're not working much, but that's because the pads are. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh, that's looking so nice. Like it? Yeah, it looks so good. Doesn't it look so nice with that? Like Alex said with the pipe, the two-stroke pipe and the supermoto. You're just not used to seeing like a, a supermoto two-stroke, really. Does look nice, doesn't it? Oh, it looks so nice. <laughs> Happy. <laughs> Hang on a second. <laughs> <laughs> so just that's the front done then isn't it that is yeah. the front end done i just want to take that handguard off yeah then. take the handguard off and then uh, need some new ones at some stage and, reverse it in and, we'll do the back. and then it's the rear want to hear it She's a, yeah go on oh. beautiful smells good Ting ting, ring a bing bing with the ring a ting ting. It's more poppy, isn't it? With the FMF, it's got a little bit more of a pop to it. Cush drive rubbers. Well, these are these are extra for the cush drive, isn't it? They do these these do these wheels with and without the cush drive. I think it's about extra 150 quid for the cush drive, isn't You're it? Correct. And that makes it smoother. This little sort of lash. Interesting to try the difference between yours, Alex, and yeah. so your dad's so you with and without cush drive. Stick the rubbers on. That's it, so to speak. Rubber's on. Rubber, rubber up. Always rubber up. There is a cush drive in the gearbox. Yeah, it's that. Oh yeah, it's that. And then that sits over the top. So we're gonna take the chain off now. 
Look at that. that. Like undressing a lady. And, and that's got... a 52 rear. Is it? And you're putting on a what? Yeah, what game Four, have you gone for? 1442. 1442. Job wouldn't be complete with that bit of bling going on. Bling is. Bling a ding ding. Very nice indeed. Does it look very blingy? Very nice indeed. Blingage. So this is the Motromaster rear disc. So the idea behind this was, because it's a two-stroke, because you're gonna be a lot of rear brake to balance the wheelies, that these don't overheat like the stand. Cause you have to drag the rear brake a little bit, they say, don't they? Sort of drag the rear brake a little bit. <clears throat> these Motomaster ones apparently last a lot longer. They're a bit of a, a harder material. And I think a little bit thicker. 42 teeth. Orange, we like a bit of orange around here, don't we? This disc is this. here. Be handy, wouldn't it? We're at the disc Hang phase. On, so, which way does it want to go? That way? Uh, well, it's recessed. The bolts only go in one way, so. Oh, yeah. It has to be that way, I think. Beautiful. And the rain is back. I'll just snip the end of it. Yeah. Listen, Dad. Granville's lock thread. You should have gone lock tight. You skimped out, didn't go to lock tight. I've been using it for years. Went for Granville special. Nothing's ever undone. A fat, a fat, a fat, a fat, a fat, a thread lock. Oh, nearly there. So that's it, chain on, chain on. Disc on, Disc sprocket on. on. Need your waterproofs on as well before you do know. this. What we've learned is to come in from the top, isn't it? Drop in from the top, I told her. She's freshly greased. Right, mate. Ready? No. <laughs> in a word. That is looking rather <laughs> splendid, isn't it? It's a lot oh, of Oh, wow. Yeah. It's so just chaining and we're done. It's got some more bling. I said, have you got an orange chain? Do be serious. <laughs> they do gold. That'll have to do. Oh, actually, just before we do that, can we just count those teeth in the front? It, it says it's 13 on it. I see it there, 13. I don't want 13. Do you not? Is it 13? 13, it says, yeah. So that's going to be taller gear then, isn't it? It says 13. So I was going to go 14, 42. Was you? I'm going to try it. I'll try it. Let's count in then to there. I reckon it's to about, about there. Yeah. You, you... No, there. It's the, it's the inner one you want to keep. Is that an isn't inner? It? It's the inner. So you've got. You want the outer. So you've got an inner there. No, you want another inner, don't you? Because it's a clip. Oh, of course. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, you were correct. So we're going to cut that one. Grind him down. Just punch him out. out. And then yeah. we're going to use. How flammable is this? <laughs> It'll be right. <laughs> Punch him through. Look like it's in the right place. No, it's moved a bit. Just try it, you can't really tell until it's. You can tell me now, we're friends. <laughs> so I lost one on the blade, it shot off. I don't know the wrong thing. It's the wrong way around. Okay. All done. Look at it. The proud dad. <laughs> oh. ah. Looks so nice from the back with the size of that rear tire. Oh. I that the, the chain does. I thought the chain would hit the tire a bit more. Yeah, it's amazing. So what we're going to do? We're going to do a little ride. Oh, we're going to rig your helmet oh, yes. up with some camera gear, and we're going to yep. do a little ride out together to see what she's like. I'll be on the 690. Greg will be on this bad girl. Look at it from the back. Look at it from the back. Oh. It does look so good. That's a job well done, mate. That's a job well done. One happy very man. Very happy man. <laughs> How to build a supermoto in a day. Love it.